Hello my dear students. Hello dear friends. I'm Simple Batra from Simple Digital School. Welcomes each one of you here today on my channel. As you all know that we have already started up with the unit 2 of Management Information Systems which is majorly the DBMS portion, right? And this DBMS is a common subject of BCA, MCA also and in the BTEC also. So we have already started with the DBMS data models in the previous lecture. Today we will continue the same and we will talk about DBMS data models part 2 that is network model. As we all know that data models are also known as database models, DBMS models or they are also known as data models in DBMS, right and types of databases also. So we will start with the second model today. So let's start. So dear all, we have already covered hierarchical model in the lecture 8. You can go through it. The link is given in the description box and today we will be talking about this particular model which is our network DBMS or also known as network model. So let's proceed. Now when we talk about a network model in comparison to the hierarchical model what all benefits or what all new things are introduced. Number one in the hierarchical model there was a tree like structure. But here we have a graph like structure. Here the network model has replaced the hierarchical tree with the graph and all the connections are there in between the nodes which are more generalized here. Now point two. The major difference between the hierarchical model and network model is this also that it can handle the many to many relationships which your hierarchical model could not do. Hierarchical model could handle only one to one or one to many relationships. But here it has an ability to handle many to many relationships in between the entities. So in the other words we can call a record can have a more than one parent. Now again the network model uses the network structures as its basic data structure. Here the data structure upon which the system is developed or the data is stored is the network structure which is used. A network is actually a directed graph in which you have a number of nodes which are connected through the links or the directed arcs basically. Next is the structure of a network model. We can understand through the diagram very well that how the nodes are connected with each other and how all the relationships are actually established. Later on we will proceed for an example after this. Now here you have a node A connected to node B and C. You can see here node B and C they both are the children to this particular node A. So here this is a parent and these two are the child nodes. Now this is a network structure that how they are interlinked also with each other and they are obeying the parent child relationship also. Now the node B has two children D and E. Again C has two children that is E and F. You can see here that node E is a child to both C and B. This is the difference between the hierarchical and network model that in a network model a single node E is a child of two parents B and C but in a hierarchical model this was not possible. There was only one to one relationship in between a parent and child. Here it is possible to have multiple many to many relationships in between parent and child. This is a network graph basically in which 
every node here is represented by a one rectangle right every rectangle represents a one particular node and this particular node also represents the entity that is a real world object and also a set of records and these lines are connecting these rectangles or they are also known as arcs here this is an example of network model in any particular college or institute there can be multiple courses existing course 1 course 2 course 3 and there can be multiple students enrolled in the multiple courses also right you have a number of students 1 2 3 4 5 and student 1 and student 3 are enrolled for the course 1 here student 2 and student 4 are enrolled for the course 2 here and student 3 and student 5 are enrolled for the course 3 here now you can understand that there are typically many to many relationships for a network dbms which is represented here so this is a example of student course relationship here where many courses in the university and there are many students a student can take many courses and a course also has many students now we call network model also the network database management systems so all those dbms systems which are using the network model are known as network database management systems so they are based on network data model that allows each record to have multiple parents and multiple child records so this is clear that a network model implements multiple parent to child relationships and such kind of dbms systems which uses the network model are known as network database management systems correct similarly such kind of database management systems which are developed on the basis of hierarchical model they are called as hierarchical database management systems a network database allows flexible relationship model between the entities this is also clear here because you can have a multiple many to many relationships here which gives it a good flexibility again what are the advantages of a network model number 1 conceptual simplicity it is a very simple model and easy to design number 2 capability to handle more relationship types this i have already explained that it can handle many to many relationships so it can handle the more relationship types that is one to one one to many and many to many data integrity now before understanding data integrity we have a one more term that is a parent is also many times called as owner and a child is also many times called as member so no member can exist without its owner here that is no child can exist without its parent so data integrity can be implemented easily because all the changes can be updated automatically in both parent and child through the link or the arcs with which they are connected data independence the network model is better than the hierarchical model now here programs contain the code part and databases contain your data actually which stores the data so the programs and databases they are separate to each other which brings the data independence here point 5 ease of data access the data access is easier in network model as compared to the hierarchical model how because here if you have a person a who is working in the two departments say d1 and 
D2. So when a person A is working in department 1 and department 2 both, it means this is a child to two parents D1 and D2. Or we can say this is a member of owner D1 and owner D2 both. So if somebody needs to access records from either D1 or D2 both is accessible through the A member or the A child because of network model where many to many relationship is there a single child can have multiple parents this allows access of data more easier let's give a look to the disadvantages of a network model number one system complexity now what happens when we have to store the records or we have to store the data in the databases we need to implement it through the database structures for this we need to maintain the pointers so when we have many to many relationships implemented in the network model through these database structures or through the pointers it makes it little complex this is a disadvantage operational anomalies now what happens since we are using pointers for data structure here so for navigation that is from moving up to down or for moving down to up the implementation becomes tough or complex and there can be operational anomalies like select update commands can not work properly due to complexity of pointers implemented not user friendly the network model is not good for a user friendly system and it must be implemented by highly skilled people point four absence of structural independence so network database model a navigational system hai basically to agar structure mein kahi par changes kiye jate hain later on means database ka structure kahi par change karna ho kahi par koi parent delete kar diya jaye ya kahi par koi child node delete kar diya jaye or in case kahi par child add karna ho in between the structure it is not a easy job because all the application programs you need to modify according to this here so the system is complex operational anomalies are there it is not a user friendly system and structural independence does not exist here there is a very little scope of automated query optimization what is this aapne ek dbms system ko डिज़ाइन कर दिया इम्प्लीमेंट कर दिया उसमें से मुझे कोई पर्टिकुलर डेटा को सर्च करना है आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव स्कोर्ड बिलो 40 परसेंट इन इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट दिस इज़ अ वन क्वेरी तो ऐसी क्वेरीज को रन करना एक नेटवर्क मॉडल में इज नॉट अ इजी टास्क बिकॉज देर इज अ बिग कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी हेयर एग्जिस्टिंग टू एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ मल्टीपल पॉइंटर्स इन दिस सो क्वेरीज को रन करना बिकम्स टफ एंड विल बी कवरिंग नेक्स्ट रिलेशनल मॉडल इन द डेटा मॉडल थ्री इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर I hope you have been able to understand the network model here today. Do write down in the comment box and if you are new to the channel please check out the description box for the various playlists. Do subscribe, like and share the channel. Thank you so much for watching us. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice time.